Scientists just announced that they've extracted dinosaur DNA from a fossil. But how did they do it? Let's go back to basics to find out. DNA is like a recipe book that has all of the instructions for building and running a living thing. All cells have a nucleus, which contains this book in the form of chromosomes. And every time a cell divides, that book gets photocopied so that each new cell gets a complete set of instructions. But over time, mistakes can happen during this copying process, leading to changes in the DNA sequence. These changes can be small, like a single letter being swapped for another, or they can be large, like a whole chunk of the chromosome being duplicated or deleted. And when these changes occur in the genes that control how cells divide, the results can be catastrophic. That's why scientists are interested in understanding how cells repair damaged DNA. And it turns out that some of these repair mechanisms are pretty darn universal, even across the tree of life. Take, for example, a type of single-celled organism called an archaeon. When their chromosomes get damaged, they use a protein called Cas9 to find the mistake and then snips out the bad bit and pastes in a good copy. And we've found that this same system is at work in lots of other organisms, from bacteria to humans. But it's also tough to study DNA repair in human cells, because, well, we can't just let a broken DNA molecule sit around in our cells. So scientists often turn to fossils instead, like the one you see here, of a dinosaur called a Myasaura. Fossils are great because they preserve DNA really well. Just kidding. It's actually really hard to get usable DNA out of fossils. But this team was up to the task. They took a tiny chisel and painstakingly scraped away at the fossil, removing about 100 dinosaur cells at a time until they had enough material to do some molecular biology experiments. Then... They looked at the structure of the dino DNA and compared it with that of modern animals to figure out how it works. It turns out that dinosaurs had two copies of each chromosome, just like us. And when they had a damaged chromosome, they used the same kind of system that we do to fix it. They identified the error and cut out the bad bit. But unlike us, it seems like they didn't have a reliable way to paste in a good copy. So they had a backup plan. Instead of pasting in a good copy of the whole chromosome, they would just duplicate the entire thing, giving them two good copies to work with. We don't have a lot of details about this process right now, but by studying the differences between our DNA repair system and that of dinosaurs, we may be able to learn how life on Earth evolved from single-celled organisms to complex animals like us. So who knows? Studying ancient DNA could help answer some big questions about how life works, even if it means scraping away at fossils with a tiny chisel.